Hey, what's up guys, Ramadaz here, and welcome to Android Oreo on a Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime. Now, this is a device running 1GB of RAM, and I believe it's running like a quad-core CPU that is not extremely powerful, but either way, if you have this phone, should you upgrade to Oreo? That's the question I'm trying to answer in this video. So I flashed a ROM, it's called ASOP Extended, and I can actually show you here in the settings. If I scroll down here and go to system, and go to about phone, as you can see, I'm running the G530 FZ model, not the H or any kind of other model, but yeah, it's called ASOP Extended. And I decided to flash this ROM because it just seemed kind of cool. And I don't know if it has anything Okay, it does have the octopus. So anyway, it's, yeah, it's Android 8.1. And uh, how does it run? Well, it's kind of weird actually. So if you have this device and uh, if you're trying to upgrade to Oreo, if you're thinking about it, it's kind of weird. This device only has one gig of RAM and sometimes multitasking can be extremely weird and some things just don't work, especially when you wake up the phone. So for instance, if I want to wake up the phone right now, also, you get these custom animations, it's really cool. But when you wake up the phone, it takes like a delay and uh, sometimes it's just, it's weird, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but other than that, everything works fine, like uh, calculator, you know, any, any, like basic apps work fine, YouTube works fine, um, you know, the Play Store, I even have Majisk installed, you know, I always install Majisk and I have a couple of uh, modules here, like Greenify and YouTube Vance, black themes, because I like the black theme for um, for YouTube and you know other stuff like twitch you can watch live streams and here you go that's one of the you know the hitches that I was talking about like look at that it just kinda or maybe that was just an animation bug I don't even know it could have been an animation bug or maybe because I was holding my finger there but yeah anyway it has some bugs I will say that it has some bugs is it daily driver material maybe I can't really answer that just yet because I, I'm not using the phone daily this is actually not even my phone, so there you go. But uh, if you're, I'm gonna, by the way, post this link in, like uh, the link to the ROM in the description if you want. Um, you know, Wi-Fi works fine, Bluetooth, I tested that, it works fine. And you got like stuff like root management, this is probably just built in because of Majisk. But the main thing about this ROM, if you wanna download it, is the extensions. This is what they call the extensions. And you can basically customize your device to no end. Like you can, you know, status bar items. This is kind of, you know, standard, but you got all kinds of stuff here and you can mess around with this. Um, you know, the lock screen, lock screen UI. There's just so much stuff to go through. Weather, you can put weather on the lock screen, I guess. And uh, just uh, as a widget in general, so many things, general tweaks. I actually tweaked my, um, my animation. So when my, my phone kind of, you know, when I turn off the phone, it kind of has this like this old TV look, like, pow. Or maybe that's not the old TV look, but you get the point. It's kind of cool, and you can do all that. Now, let's move on to the battery life of things. Battery life is okay. Um, um, it's not great, but it's okay. You know, it gets me through the day. It's all right. Um, last full charge six hours ago. So uh, yeah, but you know. So to answer the question, should you install it? I would say try it, you know, definitely just give it a try. Android Oreo on a Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime. I should also say that the pictures, they also work. Um, but the only bug that I found, and by the way, once again, this is kind of weird how long it takes to open some of the stuff. I guess it just runs out of memory or something and that it takes so long, but yeah, it's just the app. Oh man, the camera, like the last time I tested it, it actually worked fine. So <laughs> you can see the it has to like fiddle around. But if I take a picture of something, let's say these uh, right here, you know, take a simple picture, it works fine. You can do it, right? The quality is all right. I mean, it's nothing great, but you know. Uh, also, I talked about the double tap. So the double tap to open the camera. It just okay. It works. Okay. All right. <laughs> so I was gonna. I was gonna say it's not gonna work, but it actually works. All right. So um, that's gonna be the end of the video, guys. By the way, to flash this, you need to unlock the bootloader, and you need to use a program for Samsung devices. And then once you have the bootlo bootloader uh, unlocked, you need to have the latest TVRP recovery. And once you have that, then you can install the ROM via you know just a custom recovery. And you can do that by going to, you know, just rebooting into your recovery. And once you are in your recovery, you're just going to wipe. And uh, if you have a ROM already installed, you're going to wipe data. 
I'm sorry, you're gonna wipe data, Dalvik cache, cache uh, system, and everything else. And you're just gonna wipe it, and once you do that, you're gonna go, or you can also do a factory reset, it really depends on you. And then you're gonna go to install and install the zip. So first of all, I'm gonna, by the way, link the, um, uh, the Google Apps you need to use and the ROM itself. So first of all, you flash the ROM, you're just gonna select, let's see this, and you're just gonna confirm the flash, and then you need to uh, also flash the G apps. It's gonna take some time, the first boot is gonna definitely take some time. And then you just, uh, you know, just boot the system. And uh, I'm also gonna show you the cool animation because I think the animation here looks cool. Also, you're gonna get this, uh, for me, I get the set warranty bit. I guess it's just because I voided my warranty, but since this phone is so old, I don't think like, and the war the warranty was like, uh, you know, alive anyway, so it really doesn't matter. And for you, it's probably gonna be the same. So don't worry by, you know, flashing it, it's gonna void your warranty, but, well, since you have no warranty, there's nothing to really, but yeah. And the cool animation, there you go. It's kind of like a Google animation, it's really cool and you can get that pixel experience and perfect time to show the boot time and the boot time is not great once again older device so you can't expect a fast boot time but it it works it works and there you go the g and there you are uh, so thank you guys for watching this video once again the links are in the description below to download everything i showed you and i hope you enjoyed this video give it a like if you did and i'll see you in another one see ya